Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install hinges with a router. Now I understand that this can be quite a daunting task but I'm going to assure you right now it's not. It's actually quite easy. So follow the steps in this video and I'll show you how to go through with it and I'll check back in with you at the end. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. Okay so this is the scrap piece of wood that we're going to be chopping our hinges into. You see I've got the mating pair there. So we're going to be doing it on these just for demonstration purposes. Now I have screwed this down just to make it a little bit safer. These things aren't replaceable so we need to uh, keep them safe. So yeah, ignore them two screws. They're just purely there just to hold this down to the bench while we're working. So what we want to do is take our hinge and we just want to open it up. Now you're going to hear me using a few different references while we're going through this. So just so you know, these two sections here are called the leaves of the hinges and that's the knuckle as in, you know, knuckle in your hands. So yeah, leaves, knuckles. So there we go. So what we want to do is we want to turn our hinge upside down and put the leaf of the hinge on our piece and then butt our knuckle right into the workpiece. Now you can see on here, You've got three knuckles on this side and two knuckles on this side. Now, I worked at a principle of, it's called most of the post. Now, you might not understand what that means. Most of the post basically means the most amount of knuckles go to the door frame, hence that we call that the post. So most of the post on the frame. So if you imagine this is your door or your window, I put the least amount of leaves on the, um, the opening piece. So now we've got that in position, we want to take our knife. Now make sure this is a sharp blade. Um, if you're using a standing knife like this, make sure it's a, a new blade or if, you know, if you've got a marking knife, make sure you get that nice and sharp. But what we want to do is just mark around our hinge. Now nice and gently to start with, just to sever them fibers. Once you've got the uh, first couple of strokes in, you can go for it down the back, yet again, nice and gentle because you don't want to follow that grain. So yeah, just nice and gentle on the first couple of strokes. Once we've established that, we can take it away and you can see here, we've got our mark out. Now we're going to put our knife back into there again and just, we can gently, with every, every stroke of the knife, we can go a little bit harder, a little bit deeper but the key is just to go nice and gentle. This is a little bit awkward for me because I'm working around the camera, but you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so once we've cut this in, we're happy with the depth. We're happy that that's gonna be a nice fit round our hinge. It's time to turn our attention to actually setting up the, um, the router. Okay, so it's time to set our thickness of our leaf on our router. So with everything, whatever router you're using, you wanna eliminate the power source. So with mine, I'll just take the battery out. If yours is a plug-in, just unplug it from the mains and then you'll be fine. So now if you're using this sort of base here, what you wanna do is, um, actually lay your hinge on there and then you can set the thickness of the of the um, leaf to your router cutter and I'll do a little video up here just showing how to do that but with this sort of plunge base what you want to do is actually you want to drop your router down onto a flat surface now and lock that off now that's effectively at zero um, and then what we can do is we can use the turret system to set the rest of it so what we want to do is we want to back this off a little touch and then we want to slide oh, a little bit more. We want to slide out the leaf of our hinge into our turret, and then we can wind that down. You don't need to get it mega tight, but you effectively want to just get that closed up on there. Close that up, and then lock it off. So that's a good snug fit now. Not too tight snug enough so now we're happy with our setting of our base we can actually go ahead and route this out now you can set your fence to this distance here if you want to i don't bother i just sort of freehand get as close as i can to the lines 
and then I'll finish the rest of it up with a chisel. So I'll go ahead and do that now, and then I can show you afterwards. Now, what you want to do with this is you actually want to start from one end, go in your depth, and then you want to nibble it your way along, but you don't want to come back out on this side. You don't want to just break back out on this side. What you want to do is actually come in from this side. So you want to go in, nibble your way along so far, back out and back in. So I'll show you that as I do it, and then you'll uh, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so now we're at this stage. You can see I've gone reasonably close. I've gone about a mil, mil and a half there. Um, the sides actually broke off anyway, so that's all good. So all we need to do now is take our chisel, go right into them knife lines that we established earlier. And because this is softwood, I don't even need a mallet with it. We can just pierce them in. Take down the sides. And you can see, as I push this in, you can hear a little click, and that back comes away. Spend a minute giving it a little clean up. Make sure you've got all of them fuzzies out, because they'll, they'll hold, hold our range off. That's it. So, we're ready to give it a fit. What do we reckon? Do we reckon it's going to go first time? Let me know in the comments below if you think yes or no. Let's give it a go. And look at that, nice, nice and snug. Move you in a little bit closer so you can see. Nice and snug, we're nice and flush right the way around. So we can actually go ahead and uh, fix this hinge in place. But before we do so, we're gonna transfer our marks onto our other piece because that's gonna make it a little bit easier when we come to do that. So the way we're gonna do that is just with our knife, put it in on that edge, and mark our points. Now that's just transferred our lines across and deepen them up a little bit just so we can see them and we'll put that to one side for cutting in a moment. Now we want to turn our attention to uh, actually doing the screw holes so what we want to do is remember that most of the posts so we want to take the leaf with the fewest amount of knuckles on because effectively this is going to be our door and then what we want to do is drill our hinges but we want to drill back so we don't want to go dead center in here we want to drill at the back drill drill and drill Now we want to put our screws in, so I'd recommend going with the middle screw first because that's going to pull it back evenly. If you go into one of these, it's going to have a tendency to try and pull one of these round and it's not going to be great. So if we do the middle hinge first, that'll pull that back evenly. So we've got some nice screws here. You can put all three in, just don't drive them home just yet. Now you can use your drill driver, I've just got a little screwdriver that I'm going to use just to put them in. And then watch what happens as I screw this in, just get to the end, it's just going to pull everything up nice and tight pulled it down and it pulled it back getting that nice and flush now I'm going to get the rest of these screws in I'm going to do the same on this block here and then I'll come back to you
And there you have it guys. Like I said, it's not an overly complicated one. I know when you're working with power tools for the first sort of like few times, it can be a little bit daunting, but just follow the steps in that video. You should be fine. It's gonna be one of them. You're not gonna get it bang on first time. Have a little practice. Use some scraps of wood like I did in the video. Just, you know, have a practice just setting them hinges in. Just things to be aware of is just to make sure that you've tightened everything up on the router so nothing slips as you go. Um, don't try and take too much in one go. You know, nibble away like I showed you on that on the, on the clip, and you should be fine. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell. You'll be up to date with all of my videos. But without further ado, I'm going to leave you with it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers.